Hey everyone, Till here. In this last video of the year, I want to talk about the 10 best and interesting tech products that I have reviewed in 2023. And this is going to be the last video that I am making and recording in this apartment because I have already sold off my place. And over the past few months, I have been clearing out all the things in my room. And right now, the only things left in this room are the camera, the tripod, this chair, the table behind and the laptop. So in the past few videos, you may notice the audio is a bit echoey. That's because there's nothing in this room to absorb the sound. All right, let's start with the first product. Let's talk about pen displays and I have reviewed many this year. The most interesting one to me or the one that I like the most is the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 because if I'm not wrong, this is the first pen display from XP Pen that features the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Or maybe it was the Artist Pro 14 Gen 2. Anyway, I really prefer 16 by 10 over 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So that's a huge selling point for me. And this is also the first pen display in the world that features 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. In other words, this pen display has pretty good drawing performance. And the price of this pen display at the time of this video is 509 US dollars. The other pen display worth mentioning is the Sense Lab Pen Display 24, which I did not review because I did not have a review unit. Anyway, this is a high end pen display that competes with Qualcomm high end pen display. So uh, if you are interested in a huge pen display with more features, this is one you can consider. The second product I want to talk about is pen computers, which are usually Windows tablets. And the most interesting one from 2023 is definitely the Huion Campus Studio 16 because I did not expect them to release a portable Windows tablet. So this is a 15.8 inch tablet that runs Windows 11 and it uses the Huion pen. So the drawing performance is fantastic. The pen displays from Huion require you to connect them to computers, but this Huion Campus Studio 16 is a pen computer. It's a standalone tablet that's powered by battery. So this is portable. The main downside with this product is the battery life is just four hours. So hopefully Huion can improve the battery life with future models. Another Windows tablet that I want to mention is the Link Studio S1, which uses a pen that supports Wacom EMR. So this tablet has pretty good drawing performance as well. And the downside again is battery life, which is just four to four and a half hours. Anyway, this product will be released through crowdfunding in 2024. So do watch out for it. My review will be up in a few weeks time. For product number three, I want to talk about a tablet accessory, which I think is a must buy for all tablet owners. And it's this universal tablet stand. This is actually a white label product that is sold under different brands such as Banks or Lululuk. Lululuk's one is cheaper and more affordable. This tablet stand can be used with any tablet from any company. You can place your tablet horizontally or vertically on the stand. And in the future, if you change a tablet, you can reuse this stand. So that's why I like this stand so much. It's really worth the money. Product number four is a keyboard. And my favorite keyboard this year is the Epo Maker RT100. So you can get this keyboard with the C sort silent switches and these switches are so quiet and yet you can get that very satisfying tactile typing experience so I really love this keyboard and this keyboard is so beautiful and this keyboard also has the numpad that I use very often as an artist and graphic designer product number five is a wireless mic and it's the Holyland Lark Max, which is a wireless mic that you can use to record to mirrorless cameras, tablets, phones, and even your computer. 
and the audio quality that it records is clean and clear. Product number six is a laptop. I did not review many laptops this year, and the one that I really like is the LG Gram. So in 2023, LG released the LG Gram and the LG Gram Style, which is the more stylish version. I prefer the normal LG Gram because it's more affordable, but it's still quite pricey by the way. Anyway, I like the matte textured display because I don't like to use glossy display for graphic design work. And this laptop is so light and the display is so big. You can get the LG Gram with a 17 inch display with 16 by 10 aspect ratio and that is huge. And if I remember correctly, the weight for that 17 inch laptop is just less than 1.4 kg. And the battery life is pretty decent as well. For product number 7, it's the Xiaomi Pad 6 with the Xiaomi Smart Pen if you are into drawing or writing. So this is, in my opinion, the best value Android tablet in 2023 in its price category, which is around US 350 to 400 US dollars. This tablet is well made, looks good, has good performance, um, sounds great, and it's just um, a really good tablet overall compared to even the Samsung tablets because you cannot get Samsung tablets at this uh, price range for the specs that Xiaomi is giving you. The only downside is the OS on the Xiaomi tablet does not have as many features compared to Samsung's OS and also there are some limitations when it comes to drawing with the pen. For product number 8, I want to talk about external displays or portable displays and the most interesting one to me is the U-Perfect U-Station Delta which is a dual stack display so there is one display on top of the other so if you use this display together with your laptop or desktop you can get a total of three displays and that is pretty cool. Having a dual display setup is great for productivity. Having a triple display setup is even better. The only downside to this display is you cannot use a single USB-C cable to power the display if you are using USB-C video connection because this display requires more power. So if you are using USB-C video connection, you need a minimum of two cables. And if you are using HDMI connection, you need even more cables. Product number nine is the Mini Supuru Dock or Hub MD808A. So this hub has three USB-C ports, one HDMI, and can also charge your connected device. And this hub works great with tablets such as the Samsung tablets or the iPads that can output video because with this hub you can get extra USB-C ports and this can charge your tablet at the same time and you can still connect your tablet to an external display. The last product I want to mention is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series tablets. So these are probably the best or if not one of the best tablets released this year. I mean, you get lots of features, the tablets look great, the OLED displays are just uh, so beautiful. And you get to choose from three sizes, uh, from 11 inch to 12.4 inch to the massive 14.6 inch ultra model. If you don't have so much budget for the Tab S9 series tablets, you can consider the Tab S9 FE tablets which have fewer features and are more affordable. I have reviews for all these tablets on my YouTube channel so just check out the links to them in the video description below. And lastly, I also want to give an honorable mention to the Qualcomm CK3 mechanical keyboard with a built-in display. So the built-in display may look like it's a gimmick, but it's not a gimmick because as mentioned earlier, having a dual display setup is always great for productivity. This is a two-in-one product that does not take up as much table space compared to a standalone computer monitor. So those are my top 10 picks for 2023. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think about them and also let me know what is the best tech product or gear that you have bought this year. Now in 2024, I will have several months of renovation to oversee, so I will not be able to make as many reviews on this channel. More specifically, I will not be able to review products that require a table, such as keyboards, computer monitors, pen displays. But for portable ones, such as tablets or laptops, I may still be able to review them. Alright, the last thing I want to say before you go is if you happen to be interested in any of the products that I have featured in this video or in past reviews, do consider making your purchases through the affiliate links that I have to support my YouTube channel. Alright, I hope all the reviews I've made this year are helpful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in 2024.